What you see here is the brand new major release NX2007. I haven't installed the miner yet, which is available for a couple of days now. But anyway, still am able to show you a renewal about the new sketch solver. I'm going to talk about half diameter and a cat secret, which maybe was not expected about the new sketch solver half diameter enhancement. I'm also going to discuss another topic about sketch creation because there is a modification which I do not like compared to the possibilities we had before. Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Simon from BizLearn. Hi and welcome to a brand new tutorial of my tutorial series NX Cat Secrets and what's new Siemens NX 2007 in that case. First of all, before I'm going to start sketching, I'm going to start the revolve. As I mentioned before, I'm going to be talking about half diameter, which is a solution many people were waiting before because it's much easier to dimension a revolve sketch without calculating. And I'm going to be using the profile therefore and draw. Well, I'm not going to define length here. I'm just going to define some some width. Because half diameter cannot be defined from scratch. It has to be defined afterwards. And I'm just going to move this point towards my X axis. Here we are. How can we create half diameters? Well, it's pretty simple. You really just have to select your first reference, which is an axis and a point like this. And what you see here is a typical perpendicular length dimension, which I'm going to activate. And I'm going to define a value as well. And right now I am able to right click this and convert it to a half diameter, which is documented well in the official documentary. But anyway, there is a cat secret which is not displayed in the official documentation of Siemens NX because you can go on with the creation of half diameters without converting. And there's something you have to regard. It's the order of your selection, whether you start selecting this one first or the point first. So I'm just going to select the point and then the axis and now you see it's a typical perpendicular length. But if you proceed with selecting the axis first, and then the point you can see it's a half diameter. That's the cat secret. Why is it a secret just because it's not written in the official documentation of Siemens and X. I'm just going to demonstrate this again. I'm just going to undo my selection. If you select the point first and then the axis, it's a typical perpendicular length. But if you select the axis first, which is also referenced by this half diameter dimension, and then select the point, it's going to be half diameter, I'm going to select the dimension, define a value, left click and position the dimension. And I'm going to proceed here. It's just two clicks required, no convert required. I'm going to select the dimension, I'm going to define a value, I'm going to left click and position the dimension. And as you can see, sketch is fully defined, it's not required by the way, to have active lines here or here. You can, of course, I'm going to finish this the sketch is fully defined as you did see. And a solid body is going to be created. The profile don't need to be closed in terms of working with revolve. Another issue, something which I don't like a in my opinion, disadvantage I'd like to show you is sketch creation. I'm going to create a pocket on on this side here. And therefore I will need an extrude. And of course, no sketch has been created yet. Therefore, I will have to use the sketch section dialog with the center mouse button select. And now I can define a position, which I'm just going to do. I'm just going to click on this surface. Everything seems to be well defined. As you can see, the horizontal reference is my Y axis and the origin point is referenced to the circular edge here. 
Which seems to be fine, but as you remember, maybe you have experience with horizontal modeling already. I have published a few videos concerning horizontal modeling. I'd like to show you a problem which I think might be interesting. I'm just going to define some values here. It's fully defined as well. So I'm going to finish sketch and create the extrude into this direction, five millimeters, um, which maybe shall be subtracted, however. And now I'm going to define some details, but first of all, define um, the current feature here. So the revolve is going to be my active current feature. And now I'm going to define an edge blend related to, let's say, face edges, oh, which is okay. Maybe this could have been a chamfer instead. It's not important. Important is the following fact that if I activate the extrude number three again, an alert pops up. And maybe you don't need to guess what the problem is for a long time. Maybe you have an idea already. The edge, which has been used as a for center refinement of the internal sketch of the extrude, does no more exist at this timestamp because of the detail we've created here. In a lot of videos, I was mentioning this problem that if you create references, that's what I actually did when creating the sketch for the extrude. You should always select the possibly oldest object. And that's what I'm going to try. So I'm going to start the extrude again. I've deleted the first result. I'm going to start the sketch section Y center mouse button. And now think about the problem. So I'm first of all, I'm going to select the face as usual. You can see a horizontal reference is chosen from the datum coordinate system, which I think is an enhancement. This was not the case in the past in older versions. And this is the possibly oldest object. And I mean, it's not a fixed axis, so that's cool. There is a relation, but the origin point has been chosen from the revolve. And it could have been chosen from the coordinate system as well. I did a little mistake now, so I'm just going to deselect this and select the point from the coordinate system, just like this. And now the horizontal reference and the origin is, well, linked to the datum coordinate system, which is not display at the moment, but that is the case. I'm just going to reproduce the problem with a little circle here. And I'm just going to reverse this direction and subtract it. And let's create a chamfer now. Let's use symmetry and five. I'm going to apply this and I'm going to activate the extrude again. And you can see it's not broken just because the internal sketch from the extrude is completely referenced to the datum coordinate system beside the face, but the face has not changed yet. So how can we avoid problems here? How can we create a sketch or an internal sketch without the horizontal modeling problem or the relation problem, however. I showed you a solution already. You just have to select the sketch plane and afterwards select a different origin point to avoid the selection of edges, which is usually not necessary. Another opportunity you have is, which I did in the past, and this is something which I would call a disadvantage, because in the past I have selected the plane and afterwards replaced the plane by the face. Just because if you select a plane from a datum coordinate system, the horizontal reference and the origin point is always selected from this coordinate system. And it still is, but you cannot replace the face. It's not possible. In the past, it was possible to replace a face and now it's not. I think this is a programming issue which should be solved in the future, especially when you are thinking about horizontal modeling relations, which you want to keep, however. 
Another opportunity of replacing the face is of course the reattach tool because reattach still uses the same layout as in the past. Maybe remember in the past reattach and create sketch were using the same layout. Now it's different but reattach still allows you to just swap or to just replace the plane or face however. And you can see the relations here are still maintain, of course, because I've just switched plane. There's another opportunity within here, which allows you to easily reattach the sketches. In my opinion, it makes sense to use invert again. Invert is meaning that you select the plane from the coordinate system and afterwards replace the plane by selecting the face. And after doing this, Two relations, meaning the horizontal axis and the sketch origin, are still referring to the datum coordinate system. Only the face and plane were replaced. I'm just gonna demonstrate this again. I'm just gonna reset this. Use invert. Maybe some of you are not on the latest release and still have the opportunity when creating sketches from scratch. Uh, it's still the same layout. Use invert select your plane from the coordinate system and then afterwards replace the plane by selecting a face. I'm gonna link a video on the upper right because I've already published a video about replace meaning reattach sketch exactly showing this kind of workflow. And now we have horizontal relations meaning our sketch is independent from the detail and this is always my target, my goal to keep things independent as much as possible. I hope you learned something within this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm looking forward to your reactions in the comment section below and of course use the thumb up button if you like the video. And don't forget to subscribe and activate the alert as well in order to be informed about new video uploads on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Goodbye.